Hello and welcome to Tabletop for One. Today I will be doing an unboxing of Hadrian's Wall by Bobby Hill and published by Renegade Game Studios. Hadrian's Wall is a roll and write that took the solo gaming community by storm last year. And I've been hesitant upon getting this game because I'm not a big fan of roll and writes. But it, you know, over this last year, I've started to cave and get won over by some games like Rolling Realms and uh, Dinosaur Rar and Write. Um, Roman Roll is probably one of the best ones. And so I put this on my Christmas wish list and sure enough my parents bought it for me. And so thank you mom and dad. And um, I'm going to give it a go and see how it goes. But as you can see here, this is quite the involved roll and write. You got these two big sheets of paper with lots of areas to fill in, cross off. Got a bunch of these different meeples and resources to use. And so we are going to check it out here. And as it says regarding Hadrian's Wall here, while visiting, when visiting the north of Britannia in 122 AD, the Roman Emperor Hadrian Augustus witnessed the aftermath of war between his armies and the savage, savage Picts. In a show of Roman might, he ordered a wall to be built that would separate the Pict tribe from the rest of England. Grand in its design, the wall stretched 80 Roman miles from coast to coast. In Hadrian's Wall, players take on the role of the Roman general, placed in charge of constructing a mile castle, a mile castle and bordering wall. Over six years or rounds, Players will construct their fort and wall, man the defenses, attract civilians by building services and providing entertainment, all while defending the honor of the Roman Empire from the warring picks. The player that can accumulate the most renown, piety, valor, and discipline, whilst avoiding disdain, will prove to the emperor that they are the model Roman citizen and be crowned the Legatus Legionis, Leg <laughs> I can't even say that. The Legionis Legionis. <laughs> I do like that it doesn't say the player who wins, who gains the most points will win. It actually gives names for those various points, piety, valor, discipline, and so on. So it adds a little thematic flair to it. This uh, definitely looks like Something along the lines of Architects of the West Kingdom, which I still have not played. Just the art and whatnot. Yeah, actually, the only... Uh, I don't own any of the West Kingdom. I sold Paladins. But I am curious about Architects. I've heard so much good things. And Viscounts. Alright, so here's a rule book. So it gives an introduction and tells you the components, of course. We got the different wooden components here. The two game pads, fake cards, player boards. Gives the aim of the game. Oh, now it says the players with the most victory points. How to set it up. Gameplay overview. Your setup, selecting player cards, actions and general concepts. All the different areas on the board. As you can see, these look quite busy, but I hear it's it's uh, it's been said to be combo-tastic. As in, you scratch one thing off on one part of the board to add another thing to another part of the board, which lets you use another part of the board, and so on. So, it sounds entertaining. Still explaining the various tracks on the pads here. The theater, the gladiators, gardens, temples, courthouse, diplomats, scouts, and then the end of the year. Explains favor, disdain, and the end of the game. 
Again, it's uh, after year six or after six rounds. Gives a scoring example here. Changes for one to two players. Explains the various path cards here. And it gives a little iconography explanation on the back here. As far as the solo mode goes, I've heard that there is actually a solo campaign mode. I believe available online on the Renegade site. I'm not positive on that, but that's what I've heard. So I probably will check that out because I think it's some sort of campaign that you do that changes the setup and gives you various goals to shoot for. So looking forward to that. All right. So here are the wooden components. We got the, the purple, yellow, blue, and black little pawns here, or meeples. We got the gray stones here. Everything looks really good. We'll check out the cards here in a moment. And then uh, looks like these are the, the player boards. I think you use two of these for each player. There's, t uh, yeah, there's 12 here. So it'd be two for each player. And then the rest of what's included are these two huge stacks of pads. Lots of copies. I guess they expected this game to be played a lot. Wow. And it's quite heavy too. It's probably four pounds, three pounds, maybe more of paper there. All right. So we're going to go ahead and check out the cards. Okay. So we have the two stacks of cards here. Got multiple card backs. All right, so these are the different patterns and cards that you use. I'm not sure what the uh, colors correspond to. Let's check out the rule book here. Oh, it's 12 per player, so. So I guess this set of black ones here go with, um, those so there's six different colors here for the six different players and then these are the resource cards fate cards is what they call them so gives you the resources for the round and i'm not sure what these explain or the arrows have to do with that i'll have to check the the rule book when i play the game but these all look very similar and they remind me of uh, Paladins of the West Kingdom. You know, when you pick out one of those cards that gives you the your starting pawns for the round. All right. So there we have the unboxing of Hadrian's Ball. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of this game. Uh, especially if you've used the online uh, solo campaign mode. Let me know um, whether you think it's worth trying that out. Or just playing the solo mode out of the box. Do you have any advice for my first player too? Or do I just uh, wing it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. But uh, also please like and subscribe to this channel. If you like the content you see here. And I thank you very much for watching Tabletop for One. And have a great night.